my new setup today, I can then look out a little bit better than normal. So, yeah, I'm doing, I'm actually str uh, streaming from my phone, and I'm monitoring all my uh, chat on my computer. So, let's see how it works out. That way I can see everybody's chat. Thanks for coming in, and today, so, since Ray Ray is not going to do live every other day or so, so I think I'm going to do a live every Wednesday. I don't have a time to establish yet, because I already know I'm stepping on uh, Jolene uh, from Camp and Therapy premiere, and even in say premiere, sorry ladies, <laughs> this is my trial to see who I'm stepping on. Oh, by the way, thanks, uh, Paula, and your night for uh, what do you call it? Shout out this flight, so I already know. Yeah, today I don't have much going on except let's do. See, I have stuff that I do, but I keep forgetting to use my cheat sheet. So let's do some mail call. Look what I got, guys. I know I got it for a while, but I haven't had a chance to, uh, to do a mail call yet. You know? This is from uh, the Water Girl family. Isn't that the beautiful picture, guys? Look at that. And I know, thank you so much for being an amazing friend. You are amazing. You, you guys are amazing. All right, let's do the official. Uh, let's see how easy this is. Some of the stickers are easy to do, some are not. Nope, not this one. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do this later. I'm gonna, I promise I will put it up here, all right? All right, let's go to saying hi to everybody in the chat. Oh, let me see. I forgot to put on a headphone. Did anybody hear what I'm saying before this? Because I have a fan going over there and I'm afraid it's gonna do a lot of uh, wind noise. All right, if anybody could put a one, see if uh, you can hear my, what I'm saying. <laughs> see, you guys just sit down and let me be a fool. Keep talking with the, with no microphone on. All right, let's say hi to everybody. All right. I see that uh, Yanai was the first to be in the chat box. And then Bree, hi Bree. And Jojo Strum, welcome. Paula, of course, my favorite ladies. Jay Bird, welcome. Oh, chat jump, chat jump, chat jump. I can't believe it jumped. And then, hi, John. Chaka from, uh, you didn't, oh, from Connecticut. There you go, Watery, Connecticut. Welcome, my friend. And let's see, who else, who else? Johnny and Jennifer is here. Welcome. Yeah, nice here. I think Travis is working, right? Sorry, Travis. You always work during the time that I am not working. Oh boy, the chest going so fast. And let's see who else. Ray Ray, welcome my friend. Cat Cat. And Christina, welcome, Christina. And who else, AJ. How you doing, brother? Tracy. And who else, who else, who else? I think I caught it. Oh, hey, Seth. Is JoJo with you, too? Hi, Seth and JoJo. Oh, Bree, you came in late. Drop and give me five. Just kidding. <laughs> so, all right. 
like I said, uh, I didn't have much topic today, but so I'm going to take this uh, opportunity uh, and uh, can I do a, today's all about knowing about me. So let's play this game. What country was I original from? Just kidding, Bree. <laughs> hey, Ray Ray got it right. He was the first. See, now I know who's my fan. <laughs> All right, here's another trick question. What year did I come to this country? Let me give you a hint. It's more than 30 years. No, more than 35 years. Oh, Lord, cat, cat. It's not 1969. <laughs> I was born in 1964. <laughs> close, close. Somebody is really close. Paula is really close. 1774. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Here's a hint. Paula is very close. Very close. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to. It's 1979, September 1979, I came to this country. I didn't speak a lick of English. I mean, I, mean, I, I did study uh, how to read and write English. Speak a little bit, but you know, it's totally different the way they teach English over there. So when I come here, I can listen, I understand, but I can't talk back. So. And back then, I was doing some weird crap. I, I would translate English into Vietnamese to understand it, and then think in Vietnamese and then re-translate back to English to talk to people. So it t it's a long process to con convert with anybody. It's, it's hard, I'm telling you, really hard. All right, the next question is, well, instead of after, you know, I'm, I'm just going to tell you a little bit. OK, before I come to the United States, what, what country did I stop before I come here? Hey, Becky. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Mm, I wish, Becky. <laughs> How are you? Cambodia? Mm, uh, Japan? I wish. <laughs> Ooh, Thailand. That's pretty close. That's pretty close, Cat Cat. That's pretty close. Go a little bit further. Hey, Georgie. How are you, buddy? Welcome. Hmm, Eki, you way up. <laughs> All right, I came to Malaysia. Actually, the funny story is it took us, uh, you know, I escaped from Vietnam from communists in 1979. It took us about three nights, two days to get out of the country. So at first, we, you know, of course, in order to get to uh, Malaysia, you have to go through uh, Thailand. And during the the time that we passed through Thailand, we got robbed three times. Yeah, by the pirate. They're not really pirate; they fishermen. But they know there's a lot of uh, boat people going through there, and usually a lot of people will up the volume. Hmm. I don't know. Is that better? I don't know if I can uh, change the volume on the. See, right now I'm living straight from YouTube. All right, I guess. All right, let's do this. I'm going to pull the headphone out, see if it's better. How about this? Does that sound better? This is straight from the microphone from the phone. Oh, wow. You would have thought the, the microphone from the headphone would be better. Maybe I just talk to a little volume. Excuse me. So, yeah, we got up three times by the Thailand fishermen. And of course, when, when the refugee escaped from the country, the only thing that's good to, to bring along is gold. Whatever, gold, chain gold, whatever gold, you know. And you know, most Asian, will carry 24K gold, so they're worth a lot of money. 
Yeah, we got drunk three times. Luckily, they didn't. Uh, the funny thing is, they on the boat, we have uh, an M16 rifle, and uh, most of the guys that rob us only have like a, a, a six shooter or, or a knife. That's it. But we we know what they up to. Hey, Doreen. Sorry, I stepped on your premiere. I hope your premiere is done. <laughs> I might have to change the time doing live, or maybe at, at 11.15 or something. And uh, yeah, they, uh, so we say, as long they don't, they don't touch a woman, you know, or the children, and we let them go out of the way, we will take them out and take their boat. But luckily, nobody, nobody uh, did anything to the woman, so. All right, Doreen. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't. So maybe next time I will do 1115 live. That way I will not step in anybody's premiere. Hey, Ryan, Becky. Welcome, welcome. So, all right. I think I, you know, I have a, play, a playlist folder for All About Me. So. Let's see who, who actually watched that. So how long did I stay in that island? And what is the name of that island? Yeah, it was a long time. That's why uh, living in the van is a luxury for me. Hi, Gina. Seven day, <laughs> you way off. <laughs> hey, Seth. Yeah, happy to see. It's that way you, you don't have to watch all the video. You can just be on live and know all, a little bit more about me. Yeah, I actually was on that island for. Let's see. Nine months, yeah, nine months. I came on that that island at the night of uh, the Chinese New Year, the the midnight of Chinese New Year. So, so nine months we were there. Literally, we lived like primitive. So, of course, they build these little compound that just have those uh, uh, metal quarry roof and. A little bit of sidewall, that's it. There's no front door, nothing, just an opening to go in. So it's, I think it's like 10 by 10, and that was supposed to house 10 people. 10 by 10 meters, no, not 10 meters. I would say about 10 feet by 10 feet, yeah, and house 10 people. That's how cram it is. So, of course, it's an island, so most of these are built on the, on, you know, near the front of the beach. So you have a choice either you stay in a tent with 10 people in that little cubicle or you, move, you go up the hill and build a little hut yourself. Because, you know, there's, there's tree and, you know, big tree and everything. You can chop them down and build your own hut. So that's what we did. My parents and I, actually, what happened was uh, people digging holes to, to get fresh water, right? But at the same time, about 50 feet away, they dig hole to do the number two and number one. Wow, well, number two mainly. Of course, it will leak down into the, <laughs> the well, and if you drink that water, you get sick like a dog. And that's what happened. I got sick like a dog. So my parents decided, okay, we got to move uphill. That way, uh, move uphill, and then uh, build a hut right next to a spring. That's a small spring, but you know, there's water running throughout the day, all day. And one thing I learned when I was living up there was uh, you can find water, if you find a little uh, wave spot, that's where the, the little stream running. It's not on the top of the surface, but what you do, you, you just dig it up, dig it up until you can create a pool and then the water will collect there. That's how you get water. I didn't have to do that, but we, we built a hut right next to the, to the spring, so we get the water from there. Of course, you got to use what you have in that island. So, so a lot of the tree, when they chop for firewood, they strip off the bark. That way, the, it line up the weight, 
and you can carry it home you know, easier. So I go, being 15, that's all I can do is go along with the bigger guy. And I drag all these uh, bark home and make into wool. And you know, to, to, to put that into the wall, we, we use the string, cheap string. So yeah, it's, 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 it teaches you how to survive with what you have. And then you, we grew our own, uh, they give us bean, right, green bean, but eating bean the whole time is, is getting boring. So what you do, you, uh, you, you make into bean sprout, which is pretty easy. All you have to do is go down the beach, got some sand, rinse it good, good, and then bury the bean, and then keep, keep it moist. Every day and, and, and the bean sprout come out. <laughs> and now you got vegetable, kind of vegetable. Yeah, it was, it was a fun, fun journey for nine months. Of course, so that's why I say living in a van and living in that hut is almost similar. Cause you have to plan out your, your, your daily routine every day. Otherwise you won't have something to eat or you won't have water. You, you, gotta, you gotta rinse yourself, you know? <laughs> you, Ray, you gonna want to try to start fire? Oh yeah, Becky is living in a van is luxury. It's like, but it's cheap compared to living in a hotel and motel when you're traveling. And the other day, somebody called me out on one of the somebody was somebody comment my one of my video and then she called me out like that I'm not living in my van full time. Okay, <laughs> but I went on a road. I'm on my van full time. That's true, Becky. Except the damn toll people try to steal your, your van from you. Yeah, I'm mad with those damn toll people. I hate those guys, man. When I, did, when I do DoorDash at night, and I see them too. I'm parking in the parking lot waiting for order, and I see them driving around scouting for any, because you know a lot of parking lot in front of the store is, uh, is private party. And if you park there during the nighttime when they close, these tow trucks will come around, take, take your vehicle away, and then and charge you tow and fee. That's why I told you, I told you they are thief, legal like thief. All right, what's next? Okay, so September I came here. So did, did I really get? And I, oh, you already figured out. And I didn't know, you only know how long I've been here. So, yeah, I've been been here for a while. Oh, nice. Angie Hayes says she spent the first night in her SUV last night. How was it, Angie? Did you get nervous? Did you get, you know, anxious? <laughs> Okay, Jeannie. Drive careful. Hi, Joy. SUV light, yeah. See, now Angie Hay is not a virgin anymore. A van like cherries broke. <laughs> yeah, I don't All right. Let's see what else I can talk about. Hey, I'm I'm open for anybody. Want to know? Ask me anything you want. Yeah, today I, at at twelve. I have to go to uh, to the onboard meeting with this uh, border register uh, job that I'm about to do in September. Yeah, they uh, they are doing uh, recall voting for uh, Governor uh, what's his name Newsom. Yeah, let's see how it go. So, if you wonder why. Yeah, sad, sadly, I haven't. 
for for forty uh, two years have been back here. Well, ever since I got married, I, I didn't. My wife <laughs> don't trust me to go back by myself. You know, because she was she was hurting story about uh, old guy go home, and then they send some some young hottie, then divorce the wife here, and then move back uh, to Vietnam. <laughs> So, okay. And I told her, you want to go back to Vietnam? And they say, no, I'm not going back. I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> but, you know, eventually, I will go. I will go. <laughs> All right. Ray Ray got a question. Let's do a minivan build together. Sure. Are you building a minivan? Your van is good already. Why would you want to go down side? I'm sure I shouldn't get the campsite. I pop the clam. Yeah, that that's a nice option too. But they want a lot of money for that clam sh uh, shell, though. How much was it, uh, Jay? I what, almost three hundred dollars or something for that clam shell. Uh, Joe, yo, I don't have any more. Actually, I do have a half sister. But uh, after my mom passed away, she doesn't keep in contact. And that's fine. You know, she didn't, uh, she didn't show up for her funeral, so I'm kind of disown her. Eh, it's life. Sometimes, you know, your own family is not that loyal to you. you know? Ray Ray say he's going to buy it, build it, film it, and sell it. Nice. Hey. I got an idea of you. We can, we can build it. I got plans here for experience how to, how to build stuff for cheap. Yeah, you know, actually, I want to get one of those, uh, those, those tent. No. The, the heavy duty tent. So Jay said, I really don't need my van to sleep in and I don't. Exactly, Jay. That's why I like my minivan. I mean, if I want to hang out the outside, is, see, all I really need is bring along one of those, uh, what do you call it? The, the pop out. Hello, Moto. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry, guy. I thought I say put do not disturb. It shouldn't be ringing. Nah, AJ, you're not making your own fur. What the fur? It's not that hard, Jay, AJ. Cause all you need is that little uh, the, the 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 main ingredient that make it fur is that little package with all the special spices, and they sell those little packets. You don't even have to do anything. See. Hi, Dan. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Isn't that support when you put do not disturb? Everything should be turning off. God. Such a rookie. Rookie, rookie. Yeah, I kind of like this setup because my phone is sitting just right above my chat box right here, so it doesn't look like I'm looking away from you too much. <laughs> AJ, if you make it yourself, that's homemade, man. <laughs> you still need that spice, though. Even if you uh, cook it at home, you still need that spice. There's no way of getting around it. You have to have those spices. Exactly, that Becky. All you need is uh, actually uh, for fur to make it really good broth, you need to buy those uh, oxtail. 
before that they knew about the hardtail, uh, you know, making fur, they were cheap. Now all of a sudden they're more expensive than freaking steak. It's ridiculous. For like six pieces of uh, oxtail, they want like almost $10 for it. Before, they, they, they partly give it away. Let's see who else. Yeah, with that spice. Hey, anybody that want a spice to make fur, uh, email me, I will send you, because I live in, in, uh, in West Minnesota, which is, they call it a little Saigon. We have almost a million Vietnamese living in, in Orange County, so there's plenty of market, and, and I mean, you name it, whatever that they have in Vietnam, we have it here, so that's why they call it little Saigon. Yeah, ox is good. They are delicacy. Cooking pot. Yeah, I'm surprised. When I was a uh, TDY, when I was still in the military, I was TDY. I forgot that what town it was, but I was in Syracuse. Not Syracuse, Syracuse, New York. I forgot what was that, that base I was. But I had to drive like an hour and a half to get uh, real fun from that restaurant. Hey, Tina. Hey, Doji. Welcome. Oh, Becky. I didn't see you came in. Hi, Dan. <laughs> How am I doing time? Oh, almost half hour. Yeah, I got to, at 12 o'clock, I got to go to do this uh, onboard. Wow, 23 in the house. Thanks everybody for coming. Feel, it feels so humble. Hey, here's your chance to ask anything about me. <laughs> I think uh, next week is going to be a different uh, theme with the word W. We're going to see what, what I got, I can come up for next week. Nice, cat, cat. You need a break. Believe it, I haven't eat, I haven't eat pizza, cat, cat, for almost a month. Oh yeah, Jay, you ever eat uh, the ham hock? We have a, a soup. We call it bún bò huế. It's weird to translate. It's a rice noodle, uh, beef. The name of the city in Vietnam, huế. But it's not beef. It's all made from ham hock, which is pig. <laughs> I never figured the name out. <laughs> Why you guys call it uh, beef soup, but it's not beef. Yeah, Joy, uh, my next big trip will be going toward uh, Michigan, M21 meetup. But before that, I'm hoping that I can squeeze in about seven or eight days of driving toward that area up to, uh, what was it, Minnesota, Wisconsin. I have a map. Why am I done? Oh, it's too low. Let me bring it up. Oh, it's still too low. Let me see. So I want to go to, I will go through Colorado, Nebraska, Minnesota, Wisconsin. I will save Michigan for M21 later. Come back down to Iowa. I don't know about Missouri, uh, Illinois. So maybe come down in Missouri, Kansas. And come back home. 
So I'm trying to save this reason for uh, for ham twenty one, so that way I can cover this area, and then this will be another trip for Mayberry. So if I go to Wood Mayberry, I will go to all these states and come back and loop back home. I hope you can see that. So I got I got three more chance to do big trips, and then I will cover all forty eight states. All right, cat, cat, go do laundry. Gotta take care of uh, life first, <laughs> real life. Ooh, tongue, huh? Yeah, Brie, I love eat tongue. That's a way they can make tongue really good too. Hey, Tracy. Tongue taco? Yeah, that's good too. You ever eat the uh, cabeza? No, not cabeza, brain. The brain. I forgot the name in, in Spanish. The brain taco. Why are we talking food? Now I'm hungry. Yeah, I need to do the, Becky, I need to do the. the Top part of, uh, I gotta get to Maine before it get too cold. Yeah, AJ, you should go to M21, I'll be there. So, oh, by the way, I got a lot of sticker. Anybody want sticker? I'd be glad to send you one. My email is in my uh, about page, about tech. Oh, I can put the email in in the description box after I'm done with this. Oh yeah, brain with scramble egg. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Are you gonna make that for us at M21 and Cat Cat? Brain with scramble egg. Uh oh, we talking about food, I'm hungry. <laughs> hey. Jennifer, you don't know what it is until you try. We won't tell you what it is. You try it and then and we tell you afterward. <laughs> that's, that's the trick sometimes you eat, try something, don't ask what it is. Try it, if it doesn't taste good, then, then don't eat it. <laughs> yeah, I went to Alaska, I went to Hawaii, but I never visit the capital, so I guess it doesn't count for me. Becky. You haven't been to Oregon, Becky. How the heck you missed Oregon? You went all the way up to Washington, didn't you? Oh, you got it, you got it, Angie. Now, that you need to do a few more uh, overnight stuff, then you know what you miss and what you don't need, that way you don't take too much stuff. Yeah, that's why, Becky, I, I, I make sure I do the state capital, then I won't miss any state, because it will force me to drive <laughs> to every state. <laughs> Once I'm done all that, then I will do the slow, Travel like you did, Beck. Just stop at random whatever place you want, right? Hey, Doreen. Hey, uh, Felix. You know, ever since my other phone died, I got I lost my cheat sheet. So now I gotta relearn everybody name associated with the channel. <laughs> Sometimes it's better that way, right? Cause you know, remember back in the old day we, we have address book with phone number in it? So you had to memorize the phone number with the phone. Nowadays you, you don't remember whose phone number is who. If it died and you screw.
Does anybody uh, have any particular thing that you want to see? Because uh, we have a lot of tourist attraction here where I'm living. I'm thinking maybe I go do a, a kind of a, what do you call it, virtual tour? I won't go inside, though. I will, I will do the around area. Yeah, uh, some people, I don't know how they do it. They, they do, on their channel, they do their, their video all about van life for years. <laughs> I'm two blocks away from Disneyland, AJ. That's why a lot of people love fireworks. I hate fireworks. Every night I hear that thing. I mean, it's nice to look at, but all the boom going on before I go up in that sky. And if uh, people with PTSD, uh, we don't really enjoy that. Hmm. Well, see, that's why I kept, kept I'm trying to do that loop before I go to Michigan. So that way, I will go straight to Michigan without having to go past all this out of state and just straight there. So it will take me, what, about three days to get there? Yeah, about three days. I'm doing 500 miles a day, so maybe longer. Cause if I'm only driving, I'm gonna do 12 hour drive. Okay, Joy, yeah, I will, I will. Yeah, well, Becky, try to get to Anton. I mean, I got a site for what? How many days ahead? Two days, I think. And it's just me. And it's supposed to be an RV, uh, a lot of us uh, minivan, and it's just an RV spot. So you can mooch from us, minivan people. Hey, Felix, you are doing uh, mailery, right? Felix? Oh. Yeah, Becky. You can come and hang out. See, Cat Cat, me. I think there's like four of us with minivan right next to each other on the side. So we can fit four more vehicles with that uh, van or minivan, you know? Actually, you know, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be uh, mooching from uh, Angie Hay or whoever at Mayberry because I'm a minivan. I can pretty much slide into anybody's lot. I I probably won't stay there long probably for the main one or two day there. Oh, nice, Becky. Yeah, right now I'm kind of on, on the whole. That way I can, well, after this job I'm working with, I should be pull in a good amount of money because I'm, I'll be working 12 hour a day. 12 hour a day for $20 an hour for 11, 11 days, you figure it out. So it'd be a good chunk of money for gas. Yeah, I'm prepping for all these uh, gas bills coming up in uh, September and September, October, maybe a little bit of August, depends, because I got about seven or eight days in between that I actually have to work. And uh, let's see, I can squeeze it in to do this. See, that's about two days, three, four, five, six, seven, woo, eight. I need more than that. I, I need about 10 days. Oh, thank you, AJ. Give it a thumb up or give it a thumb down or you don't like. <laughs> it's all good. You know, YouTube doesn't care whether it's up or down. As long as you have interaction with your viewer and comment, 
they know you do something, either right or wrong. <laughs> Hi, Merlin. Welcome, Merlin. Thank you. First time I see you in my life. Welcome. Well, let me see, hang it, 40 minutes. Yeah. Well, any more questions? If you don't have more questions, and thanks everybody for coming, because I'm going to get ready. I'm with you on all five of my channels. I didn't, cat cat, I didn't book the extra day. I think I will try to get there on the, on the 23rd and I probably be mooching from you instead of wasting money. I, we, we can split the, the cost. Why, why, why have two, uh, <laughs> sorry, with two minivans. All right, Felix, see you later. Thanks for coming, Felix. Later, Jojo. Thanks for coming. Bye, Seth. If you're gonna go too, <laughs> I need to. I need to try out that uh, that disc golf. That that's that look fun. I need to find somebody to play with me too. Kind of not fun to play by yourself. <laughs> hey, Kenneth. How long you been in here? You just, you just, you a lurker, huh? You just, <laughs> thanks for coming, Kenneth. You bring, no, you, read it. Are you bringing your, your pop-up capital too, right? I don't know if you have room. Hi, Karen. Well, I feel bad, Karen. I was about to end this this life. <laughs> wow, DJ, you just come in too. What's up with all you Canadians? Just decided to come in when I'm about to close the life. <laughs> now I gotta stay a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been. The weather here is kind of weird. It's hot one day and then another is nice and cool. Today, it, it sprinkled a little bit last night, so it's nice and cool today. We'll see how the weather goes. It's only August and it's all hot already. I can't imagine what September is going to be like. It'll be baking. I mean, the, my AC been running. I mean, see, I'm okay, but if my wife at home, she runs that thing all day long. And she run it at 77, 76 degrees, and I'm freezing my butt up in, my, in, the, in, in the bedroom. Whoo, 100 degrees. Heck, that's hot. If it's getting 90 something here, man, I'm dying over here. But I mean, I'm not dying, but. All you want to do is just go inside the house and eat an ice cream and watch a movie, you know, run in the AC. Yeah, Marlene, 89 in Florida, that's bad because I know the humidity will get you. Humidity is bad. No matter how, how, how low the temperature is, it's going to get you. 70, whoo! I'd be frozen to 70. I'm good at 78. Hard to keep the book clean in 103 degrees. Hmm. The book. Wow. 
Wow. Grace, too hot. You got to do that early in the morning. <laughs> you know how you, uh, instead of set at 70, all my house, I have a ceiling fan in every room. So if you run at 78 and the fan and the ceiling fan turning, it feels like you're at 70, but you only run at 78. So you don't burn it up like a lot of electricity. You know. And you know, it circulates the, the cold air around better. Same thing during the, the winter time, the heater will run more efficient that way with the, with the ceiling fan. Wow, that's bad, Karen. Okay. Yeah, who 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 said twenty one would be a better year? Nope. Bye, Jay. Thanks for coming. Well, thanks all my moderator. I guess I, there's no uh, no troll come to my life, <laughs> but thank you for, for doing the mod. And if you want, you already know the routine. You don't have to wait for me to tell you <laughs> to drop your link if you want to. Pretty much everybody in here is know everybody. In here. Back road RV. Hello, back road RV. God, I lost my cheat sheet, so now I can't remember everybody's name. Mm, let me try. <laughs> oh, did did everybody see that uh, the thumbnail on Ray Ray for the next life? Was it the next life? Yeah, the one with the topless, looking out of the, the bay. <laughs> Hi, Amy. <laughs> with T-shirt. Oh, you got to crack me up. Uh, this is what I like about uh, going chat, the live chat. It's more fun to be in the chat. <laughs> Jerry, hey Jerry. How did I miss Jerry? When did Jerry Holly came came in? <laughs> Only Gina can get the uh, us guy doing weird shit. You know, Gina got me twerk for her. I think she took down that live. <laughs> I actually took her on screen. <laughs> uh, you know. Actually, Jennifer, believe it, I did actually go on Amazon and look for a stripper pole. They want like a hundred and thirty something dollars for a stripper pole. <laughs> they actually shelling that on Amazon. <laughs> oh. I know, I was supposed to add it. <laughs> But then uh, we got new uh, friend coming in, so I didn't, <laughs> I 
I didn't have a heart to add it. But I had to add it at 12, so. Because I got to go, I got to drive down, take about, you know, traffic in Orange County is horrible, so you never know what it's like. And so I always have to give myself at least an hour to get to where I'm going. I'd rather be there early than, than late. <laughs> what I do. Don't tell me, I might, I might buy it and set it up. And they sell those uh, disco light, USB disco light for like 20 bucks. <laughs> no, I got something better. I, I have something better. Believe me, I will, I will bring it to M21. <laughs> Oh. oh, man. They shut it down again, Karen? That's, that sucks. <laughs> Except, there's no room to dance. You just have to twirl around it. <laughs> Canopy, that's what I'm in my head. I have a canopy, open up one. Hey, maybe we set up a canopy and then we have a stripper pole and then we're gonna have a, a stripper pole, uh, dance contest at M21. <laughs> Does that sound like a good idea? <laughs> hey, once you get everybody drunk, they do it, whatever. <laughs> Red, hi Red. Where did Red, when, when did Red came in? Oh, yeah, I need you Red. <laughs> Boy, Red tag, a bunch of people at the same time. <laughs> hey, no, 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 okay. What's going on in M20 stay at M21? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have a good time at M21. <laughs> uh, yeah, Becky, I saw that video from Slap City. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have a a little bit of 420, which I haven't been touching, because the last time I, 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 I smoked it, I was lay on the, on the car for three hours like a freaking drunk, you know? <laughs> I said, no more. Somebody gave it to me and I, I just hold on to it and I don't, I don't dare smoking it too much. <laughs> hey Bill, welcome. I know, man, you walk too, you, you're the hardest walking guy on YouTube. I don't know how you do it. I can barely hold a life here. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Uh, my friend gave it to me. I tried it once. Just one joint, right? And then I haven't touched it for months now. So I'm saving it for special occasion. I know, I know Red still have some. <laughs> I 
So if, if I ever give you a, a gum container, don't think it, there's gum in there. <laughs> Hi, Jojo. Jojo know all about 420 stuff. <laughs> No, I, you know what I did, Jojo? I was puffing once, I am waiting for like a minute or two. Say, okay, when is this coming? So I puff another one, when is this coming? I put the third one, okay, I think I, I have enough of it, so I hold on. <laughs> and it hit, I was out for three hours. <laughs> Literally, I feel like I just drank six pack of beer. <laughs> Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Johnny. Yeah, I just spill a bean about naughty stuff I do. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna put that uh, that gum container into good use soon. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think I think so, Red. I think they give to you to see what you're gonna do. <laughs> I know. I know. Somebody will appreciate. It. I know uh, Becky will appreciate. It. It's a waiting gift. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for coming in. It's, uh, we're sitting at 57 minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> thanks for coming in and hanging out with me. I had a good time. Thanks for everybody for coming in. So have a good Wednesday. It's a wonderful Wednesday because it's the middle of the week, only halfway to go until Friday. So have a good day, and I will catch you all later. All right? Bye now.